Hello and welcome to a veritable stunner of an evening here in beautiful Nova Scotia. The end of an absolutely stunning day. I've been out in Chester doing uh, some work in a client's garden. Absolutely beautiful place Chester as you can see from the photographs there. And of course today, April 21st, is the Queen's birthday. God bless her. And I've marked the occasion by wearing my HMS Queen Elizabeth hat from the aircraft carrier, beauty, a beauty of a ship. And what better way to mark the occasion than to, um, to rejuvenate the, uh, the strawberry beds, that most royal of fruit. Absolutely beautiful fruit, strawberries. So this is my strawberry bed here and it's full of runners and dead leaves and all that sort of stuff. So I thought I would give it a good clean up ready for the, um, the spring and the summer to come and, and, and juicy, beautiful strawberries, hopefully by the million. So let's have a look and get on with it, shall we? So as you can see, this is the strawberry bed, lots of different strawberries here, the green bits. And I made this, planted most of these strawberries last year. Um, and they gave me a good crop last year, but needs to be tidied up ready so that I can put some mulch down to protect the new strawberries to come. And I need to get rid of the weeds and cut all these runners off. So in case you don't know, strawberries propagate, uh, replicate themselves by sending out little runners like this, sending out the runners and then putting a little plant down. And they send all these runners out all over the place and multiply by that method. So, which is good, but it's also bad because they send out lots of runners and that often, or that will take away um, the strength of the plant. You know, it's obviously feeding the new plant rather than putting itself into looking after itself and growing me big fat strawberries. And we want big fat strawberries. So what we're gonna do is cut all the runners maybe get rid of some of the the newer plants. Um, I was actually, these strawberries were supposed to be being put in a strawberry tower, a strawberry pyramid that I was supposed to build last year, but I'm definitely gonna build it this year. So what I'll probably do is put, dig out some of these new ones that have come from the runners and hopefully um, populate this new strawberry pyramid as you can see on the screen there beauty that's going to be the centerpiece of my of this part of the uh, optimistic vegetable garden and then I can um, populate that pyramid with these new strawberries so without further ado the first thing I need to, I'm going to do is to cut the runners and then clear the brown dead leaves and then I can get a good look at what's in the bed so I'm going to get on with it. Okay, so that's mostly clear now you're probably saying I can't tell the difference but there's a definite bucket load in there of runners and old dead leaves and stuff what I'm going to do now is get rid of the weeds that I see in here and then I'm going to start moving the strawberries around especially these ones that have rooted themselves in the corners and on the edges use up some of this space and then get rid of uh, take out some of the younger ones so I can transplant them to another area like the um, strawberry pyramid that I'm hopefully going to build this year. So I shall get on with that now. So I, as I said, absolutely love strawberries. They always remind me of being a kid growing up on the edge of South London um, and going down with a gang of us down to the fields where there was a farm Janet and Tracy, the twins, and my little sister Helen, and various other Herberts. We used to go down to the farm, and it was pick your own, pick your own strawberries, and you'd end up eating more than you'd picked. Walk back feeling sick, but still with a big bag full of uh, 
strawberries for about two pence, which was uh, which was good times in those days. Good times. But on with the um, on with the digging. Right. Let's get these ones here. They're tough old plants, so you don't have to be too delicate with them. Just make sure that you don't cut into the crown at all. I'm going to leave those there. That's from one year, so that's a sturdy little plant. I'll plant that up and hopefully uh, there's... I reckon there's a good 20 or 30 of these. Want to give them at least a bit of room to breathe, a bit of room to get their, because uh, hopefully they're going to come up to about that big and then lots of strawberries around them. So I want to give them a decent bit of room. Let's see, young un. I've lost my proper trowel somewhere, so <laughs> I'm having to use this weeder. It's actually my birthday tomorrow, so maybe I'll get something like a trowel for my birthday, although I don't think so. So I'm obviously planting them at the same depth as I sort of took them out. Hello and welcome back. So I have, can you believe it, next door's dog has decided to take a dislike to me. Shut up. One is trying to film. I think I'm going to have to abandon this for the moment. So I've got to get this in quick before next door comes up with his tractor again. So I've cleared the bed, cleared all the runners, cut the runners away, moved um, a lot of the strawberries, given them a bit of space so they've got space here and there. These are staggered. And I have, what have I done with the bucket? I've obviously moved it. So all the uh, new strawberries that I dug out, I've put in a bucket of water. I'm going to put it in a bucket of water for a couple of hours before I pop them up. And the last thing to do is to water the bed. Right, so that's the bed had a good soaking. Everything's nice and spaced out. Looking forward to a, a few months time with a big, whole mass of strawberries hopefully all over the bed well that's the idea it doesn't always work though does it but anyway happy birthday mom jobs are good